All right, I wanted to do a video demonstrating the QSO simulator built into an MFJ 493 memory keyer. All right, I've got the MFJ 493 connected via a serial cable to my computer just so that you can see what's being sent and what it's sending. And I'm going to put it in QSO simulator mode. And I'm going to send my call and I'm going to have a QSO with it. It's going to answer me back. So in each QSO it makes up a new call sign, new names, all sorts of things. So it won't, it won't duplicate itself, at least as much as I've tried it, it hasn't. So I'm going to answer it back. If you make a mistake keying, it'll give you that little raspberry sound. Now it'll likely send me back his name, QTH. Keep in mind all this is random. And sometimes its answers are sort of funny. So Renee's been a ham for 145 years. This is what you get with random generation. Okay, I'm going to answer old Renee back now. Um.
and it makes up manufacturer names. Uh, I guess they didn't want to get in trouble using real radio names. Okay, so the QSO simulator will just go rather on and on like that for a while. Um, you can end the conversation by sending 73 and then the next time it'll send you a new call sign um, and you'll be talking to someone with a different name. It changes up the order that it sends information in, so it really does make a good uh, a good practice machine, especially it's a rainy day here today and a little bit of thunder and I don't want to hook up the antennas. So I've got the radios off and uh, I can use the practice simulator and take the speed up uh, and it's just it's good practice. So if you have an opportunity to get one of these older MFJ uh, keyers, it's a fun thing to play with. In addition to that, it has a um, um, an FCC exam simulator mode. Now that FCC doesn't give uh, Morse code exams anymore, so this dates back to when they did, but it's, uh, it's another good practice thing. So you're not sending and receiving, you're just copying. But the FCC uh, pra practice exam is going to send information that you would hear during an FCC practice exam. And for those of you that did take the FCC CW exam, um, you know what sort of elements occur in it. So it just sends a number of different um, not random words, but exchanges, and you were expected to be able to either have perfect copy for a certain number of words, or you were expected to be able to answer questions from the QSO. Oh, one last thing. So, this is a, a memory keyer. I do have a console hooked up to it. I'm just running PuTTY, P-U-T-T-Y. It's a terminal emulator. It's hooked up to a serial cord that's going back to this keyer. Um, anything I type lowercase, it ignores, um, except for commands it understands, like help. And it's got an entire menu structure. But if I, anything I type in uh, capitals, it's going to send. So I can, uh, you can use it as a keyboard memory keyer using the terminal. So um, if you are wanting a, it's very, very full featured keyer and you might see one at a ham fest or see them on eBay, you'll probably need to replace the internal battery in it. But other than that, the um, interesting and fun keyers. All right. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Dit, dit.